Good morning, Raven County. It's Roger Glenn with POS Realty. I am really excited to be here today at the Raven County Public Library. And uh, we're gonna take a tour with the staff and uh, then we're gonna have the opportunity to ask the staff a few questions. So our park bench site is really about telling the story of Raven County through its people mostly, but also the businesses and the organizations that they own or are involved in. So the library was recently renovated and just reopened at the beginning of the month. And so we wanted to share some information about all the new and neat things that are going on at the library. So come on in. Here we go. Welcome to the library. I'm Caroline Frick, the manager here, and we're so glad you decided to take this virtual tour and then come join us in person. Once you come into the library, you'll notice we have um, a self-checkout area right here. So if you're a quick in and out, grab and go kind of person, you can place books on holds, grab them for yourself, and then check them out in and out. If you'd rather stay and hang out for a while, which we hope you do, we have lots of comfortable seating and you can chat with any of our friendly employees at the checkout counter. <laughs> We have new beautiful wood crafted uh, items in the library from our local craftsman, Dexter Allen. He built our counter. He built all of our ergonomic bookshelves. So that makes it easy to reach the books even on the bottom shelf. Uh -huh. We love them and we think they add a little hominess to the library and we want you to feel at home here. Okay. We also have lots of different genres of books, of course print books, digital books through the Libby app. So don't worry if you're not a paper person. We have print subscriptions to the Clayton Tribune and the Wall Street Journal and electronic subscriptions to every publication ever through the Galileo website. We do video, DVD and Blu-rays. I know it's kind of old school, but it's awfully handy. We also do audiobooks. We have books on CD. We have really cool little playaways. See if I can find one. Ooh, wildfire. Which is basically an individual MP3 player. Put your headphones in, you're good to go. And through the Libby app, we also have e audiobooks that you can listen to on your phone as you're on the go. You don't even need to come into the library to check them out. The library is also a good place to get connected. We have four uh, PCs with Windows and Microsoft Office applications. They all print to our network printer. We have black and white and color. We also have six Chromebooks you can use anywhere in the library. So if you wanna make yourself at home, put your feet up, uh, don't go to sleep, please. Uh, you can check those out. We also have three really tough ones that you can check out to take out and about of the library. You do have to bring them back, so maybe the lake might not be the best choice, but we're here for you. You could also check out one of our hotspots, our mobile Wi-Fi hotspots, so you're really connected whether you're here or outside. Um, you can use our library Wi-Fi, which is blazing fast if you bring your own device. So we really try to be all things to all people. I know they say you can't, but we're really working on that. In the back of the library, we have our, what most people think of as the library, our fiction section and our nonfiction, which wraps around the walls. We've also put little comfortable seating areas in both groups and for individuals, if you're a little bit of a loner and I see you, I see you. Of course, there are places to look up what's in our catalog. They used to call this the card catalog. We just call it a lookup station. And one thing people may not know is that you can borrow books not only from our library, but from any library in the state of Georgia through the Pine system. So let us know if we don't have it, we can borrow it from somewhere else and you typically have them within a week or so. We also have a very good large print collection. We try to add to that every month as well as adding to our audio collection. So if your eyesight is not what it once was, we're here for you. We also have a genealogy 
area, a little corner. So we have lots of local um, cemetery information. You can look up old tax records. How exciting is that? Um, we even have microfilm of newspapers going all the way back to 1899. So if some of you kids don't know what microfilm is, this is what it is. And we can also help you figure out how to use the machine. It's a little, uh, it's a little old fashioned, but sometimes that's the only way to get this information. Other um, newspapers have been digitized through the University of Georgia, their digital library. And so you can search them on the web and we link to that from our homepage. We have a brand new um, partnership with them that had the scrapbook for the Raven County Maternity Hospital and it's linked to from our webpage and it is really, really cool. A piece of history, but online for anybody to check out. Also old yearbooks if you just want to be nosy. We also like to have things to look forward to here in the library, especially after the year that we've all had. Um, we did win a technology innovation grant and so we have two uh, cones of silence, as I like to call them, but modified, glorified phone booths. They're ventilated. Um, they have chargers. You can do a quick Zoom meeting if your dog won't stop barking at home or you just don't want to clean up your room. Um, those will be coming in late March of 2021. And then in mid-April of 2021, we'll also have a larger one um, that will seat four uh, skinny people comfortably and two of the rest of us, I think comfortably, but those are also great for maybe longer Zoom meetings. You can be comfortable and uh, they're soundproof, they are ventilated, and we're really excited about them. They're pretty groovy. Another thing to look forward to, Miss Kim has a great slate of outdoor programming coming this summer for both adults and children. We've missed you in the library. And while the CDC guidelines are in effect, we are still requiring masks and social distancing and all that good stuff. We really want to get together and we think the safest way to do that is outside. So we look forward to seeing you outside as the weather improves too. Hey everybody, I'm Kim Cannon with the Raven County Library Youth Services Department. Come on in. This is where all the kids in the county want to come to pick out their books and games and audiobooks, and we have a great time here. Pre-COVID, we had story time in here every week and we had so much fun. We would dance and sing and play and get loud and close the doors and nobody cared because we have our own little room in the library and it's wonderful. But now since we have COVID going on, we are having fresh air story time outside and it's so much fun. The pavilions behind the library are the perfect spot to have a fresh air story time. So all you gotta do is go online and book an appointment to have me all to yourself for a few minutes for story time. But come on, let me show you around. So we have new books over here. We buy new books every single month for the children's department. So there's always new stuff on top of the shelves and that's very exciting. In our renovation, we found a little table that's just your size and we're so excited that all you little kitties can find books just for you. Over here, the library just extends all the way around. Lots and lots of great books to choose from. We have audio books here for your little car rides um, to grandma's house or the grocery store or waiting in the pickup line at school. We have books on different reading levels. If you're in the public school, you may be familiar with AR points and AR books. So that's what these books are. It's not exactly like your school, but it's very close. And I could always help you find just the right level for your kids. This is for the beginning readers. Everything on this side is picture books and beginning readers. But over here is for the juvenile section. These are your chapter books, your popular titles, your diary of a wimpy kid, your Magic Treehouse books, James Patterson Middle School books. This is where you would find these books. And nonfiction books are in this section. Perhaps you're learning about history at school or your homeschool project is to do a, um, a report on birds. This is where you would find these books. So this is the children's room. I wanna show you the young adult section too, but we have to go out the doors and in your own little section. So follow Welcome to the young adult nook. I think we call it a little nook now. This is your own section, come on in. We have graphic novels in this section. This is where you would find Harry Potter books. This is where you would find um, the Twilight series, the Aragon books, 
um, this is this is your room. This is a little study desk for you. If you've got a little homework you want to do privately or just tuck away and read for a few minutes, this is your spot. So welcome to our library. Come back anytime. Hi, I'm Peggy Wilcox. I'm a circulation desk clerk here at the library. Um, I, after our recent renovation, I hung most of the art that's in here. Most of the art we have in the library is was done by local artists from the region here. We kind of decided to uh, feature Naomi Stouffer's hooked rugs because she, her husband donated them after she died and they were given at during the time of, the, well, one of the last renovations in the library in the late 90s. Um, and we recently found a whole lot more of them that we didn't know we had. So um, these are six of hers hanging here. Also, the pillows on the chairs were done by her. We have a whole lot more, and we have a lot of Christmas ones. You'll see them in other places in the library, too, up near the circulation desk. There are several in the children's room also. So we're really excited to have her work. She was a local person who had an interesting life. She was a DEA agent for the Far East for the United States for uh, many years, and they retired here. So that, that's how they got here and how her rugs, her husband donated them. So we're very happy to have them. Hope you can come in and see them. Hey, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of background about the library here in Raven County. It's very exciting. In 1938, the first full-time librarian was hired. And also that's the same year that they bought a bookmobile. So the bookmobile ran in Raven County for about 40 years. And it's reported that Raven County had three times the national average of book checkouts in the whole nation. So that's pretty impressive. We are a, a reading bunch in, in Raven County and we're very proud of that. So we felt like it was important to honor the history of uh, the library and the bookmobile through our decorations here at the library and to let you all see how far we've come. But also we want you to remember that we haven't forgotten where we came from and we still, our, our mission is still to provide um, education and information and entertainment to the people in Raven County and, and across the state. That's, that's the, the mission of a library. So this is the original, well, I don't know if this is the original. They actually went through four bookmobiles. So this is one of four um, that were running the mountain roads at Raven County. Here's another picture that looks a little bit um, sketchy, I guess you would say, to be driving across that bridge back in the day, but that's really cool. Um, it was very important to the people of Raven County to get books in the hands of the people, and that's, that's what we're doing today. So just wanted you all to know that we're honoring where we came from. Sherry Letelier. I am on the board of the Friends of the Library and the Friends of the Library is an organization whose sole mission is to support the programs of the Raven County Library. One of our big projects and sources of fundraising is our bookshop which is in the back corner of the library. A number of books if you want to come in and <clears throat> all sorts of books, children's books, fiction, nonfiction, do-it-yourself, um, you know, any, pretty much anything that's of interest to you, you should be able to find here. Uh, we've, over the past year, because of COVID, we've not been able to take as many donations as we would like, but we feel that we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with that and are planning to do some big donation days coming up over the next couple of months. Uh, and we're hoping we'll be able to do our big August book sale. But just if you wanna keep posted on that sort of thing, visit our website, we'll have updates as we get closer to that time. Um, I just wanna give out a kudos to Kathy uh, Knighton. She is the one who kind of keeps this bookstore organized for us, uh, moves donations in here. She's just done a terrific job decluttering and making it a, a very inviting uh, place to come and browse. Another really important fundraising source for the Friends, again, especially with the quarantine restrictions, is membership. And our membership dues all go directly to support the library. It's your, your membership dues are tax deductible and it, they are extremely helpful and we're relying on that 
tremendously over the next few months. Um, if you are interested in joining or would like to make a donation, we are launching a website where you'll be able to go online and actually make that donation or join the friends by going online. So I'm hoping that that will make it easier for folks and bump up our membership. All right, we've got the we've got the whole library staff here. We just had a great tour. Thank you all for for doing that. I just want to ask a couple quick questions. I think sometimes when people are visiting Raven County, they don't necessarily think of the library as a resource or a place that that they should stop. So, can you talk about some of the things that visitors to Raven County might be able to find at the library? Jennifer. <laughs> We have free Wi-Fi um, available 24-7 in the parking lot, or if you have your own device, you're welcome to come into the library and again, hook up, up to our Wi-Fi. Um, we can also print, you can email us documents and we can print them out for you. They're 25 cents a page. Um, as far as books, we have a free uh, paperback shelf where you can borrow a paperback, bring one back, bring five back or bring none back. And we also have our bookshop where you can purchase uh, paperback books for 50 cents, hardbacks for a dollar. Okay, great, thank you. And um, Caroline, I think you talked a little bit about it when we were walking around, but um, one of the, the largest demographics in the county is actually seniors. So if there are seniors that have issues where they can't come to the library, can you speak to just some of uh, sort of the services that you have available to people? Sure. Um, the pandemic has been terrible, obviously, but one of the bright spots of it has been a big uptake in the usership of our Libby app. So many of our seniors and, and younger folks too are downloading eBooks onto their devices or their laptop computers at home. One of the things I love about Libby is that you can make any book a large print book. So that's kind of handy. No one needs to know that there are only six words on the page that you're reading. Um, and also the e-audio books have been very popular for folks who really would prefer to listen. Um, and again, that's regardless of age, but many of our seniors have taken advantage of that. Another thing that, that we really, um, off, that we're excited to offer is curbside pickup. Uh, while we did that while the library was closed for a time, but we've also kept it going because it really works for folks who maybe have a little a little hesitancy still to coming into public places, we completely understand. And we plan to offer curbside pickup as long as there's a demand for it. Um, Kim has worked with Traces of Tiger to deliver, or excuse me, Canon Woods, Canaan Woods Retirement um, Home to deliver items to residents there. And we can work the, those things out with any place that you live. You know, we can figure out how to get the materials to you if you have trouble coming to the library. That's fantastic. Um, thank you. And and then you just finished a reservation, a renovation rather, sorry, <laughs> and uh, reopened. Could you just talk a little bit about the renovation for folks that haven't been into the library in a while? Oh, well, we, we can't wait for you to see it. Uh, we did get a grant from the Georgia Public Library Service and then the Raven County Board of Commissioners kindly matched that. So this is a great use of public uh, funds and not so many local funds. We got new carpet, new paint, new LED lighting, which is great for our power bill. That means we can buy more books. Uh, and it's also easier to see while you're around. Um, we're having some outdoor renovations done as well. Um, so you'll see those in the coming months, but we're getting an improved uh, accessibility ramp. A new HVAC system. What else are we getting? We got a new roof um, and new entryway and additional handicapped parking. So a lot of changes happening here and all of it to make the library just a more comfortable and inviting place for you. It's very comfortable and inviting, uh, not only the atmosphere, but the staff. <laughs> we, we try, we try. Um, all right, I saved the most difficult question for last. Just again, for those folks that may be part-time residents or visiting uh, Raven County, can you tell us where the library is located? <laughs> This is a tough one. Now you can take a minute here if you need. It's 73 Joe, J O, Dotson Circle, Clayton, Georgia, 30525. 
if you're a new resident to Raven County, when you come to pay your property taxes for the first time, we're right across the parking lot. So take advantage of that and get your library card then. Well, thank, thank you ladies for taking some time this morning to share about the renovation and all the wonderful things that are going on here at uh, Raven County Public Library. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon, Raven County. Tell us about your experience with the library. I've been uh, coming to this library for 26 years and uh, always been a pleasant experience. Good selection of things and I much enjoyed it.